Within some not long period, it'll become clear to the Trump, the working class voters of, for Trump, there are others like the religious groups and so on, to the working class uh, voters that they're not getting what they were promised. Uh, there aren't going to be steel mills coming back to Indiana. Uh, there's not going to be more coal mining in West Virginia. What happens then when they're disillusioned? The reflexive reaction of an autocratic state to disillusionment is to scapegoat, blame somebody else, blame people who are even more vulnerable, like here, blame the immigrants, blame the North Africans, not look at what's happening. Blame the North Africans, but don't look at the fact that uh, two thirds of the people in jail are North Africans. Don't look at that and what it means. Uh, similarly in the United States, uh, uh, similarly in Britain, and the migrants that they're blaming there are from Europe, not from Africa, not from the Middle East. Well, that's the kind of reaction that is almost reflexive. Blame people who are more vulnerable, okay? See if you can divert attention away from the core problems to the people who are really in trouble, make them the, um, the problem. So if you take a look at um, American voters for Trump, say, uh, they're not necessarily, they're, the popular base is not deeply impoverished. Uh, there are people who are kind of uh, cast aside by the neoliberal policies, but they live, they have houses, they have cars and so on. Uh, their uh, anger, is directed at people more vulnerable than they are. Uh, the image that's been used correctly to describe them is that they see themselves as standing in a line. They've been working hard all their lives. Their parents worked hard. They gradually moved forward, you know, the American way. Ahead of them in the line, there are people who are moving into the stratosphere with huge wealth, but that doesn't bother them because that's the American myth. You know, you work hard, you get wealth. What bothers them is the people behind them in the line, people who are worthless, like immigrants or blacks, uh, who are being helped by the federal government and put in front of them in line. It's not happening, but that's the picture. The federal government helps the people behind me to get ahead of me. So I hate the federal government and I hate those worthless people. Not what's really happening. Now that's the kind of thing that, the kind of scapegoating that goes on. There's plenty of examples of it. The Hitler and the Jews, for example, an extreme case. Uh, it's happening right here in front of your eyes in France. And it could, will be happening in the United States very likely.